Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I got a little project I wanted to share with you guys today. I've seen them several places, YouTube. Um, I've seen them in person a couple of times. Some folks were using them for uh, like ham radio stuff. Really cool. But what this is, is a 12 volt power bank, essentially. And uh, before we get started, I'd appreciate it if you uh, like and subscribe. I've got a bunch of stuff like this coming down the line. I just have to have time to do it. I've added some some pretty new green stuff to my area because it's getting that time of the year. But anyway, here we go. This is an easy DIY. And what you need, there's a couple of different ways to do it. I was wanting to go small, so I ordered this guy i've ordered both of these but this here is your standard ammo can there's the brand it's just a standard water tight with the gasket at the top so i ordered one of the small ones and you can see it's about the same height it's a little shorter by maybe maybe a quarter of an inch it's a lot narrower or not as wide i should say and there's a ton of options for putting these things together i've seen them in the top um in the sides with lights and all kind of stuff and i'm going to do i'm going to do this guy a little different than this one because it was cheaper for me to buy the stuff in bulk but to do this you need an ammo can you can order this little assembly here for like 15 bucks. It's a power button, a 12 volt socket, like a cigarette lighter, and a voltmeter with two USB plugs in there. So you need to ammo can this assembly, or you can buy stuff individually. I bought individual stuff too. So here are the these guys. I got me a couple of them. I got me a voltmeter here. It's the same deal. Maybe even different brand. Yeah, this one has a power button on it. Very cool. Either way, I'm going to make, make me another one. Um, switches. It was just cheaper for me to buy in bulk. I said switch it. Lights. I'm going to put an LED light on the so Maybe do this one, but not as of right now. Um, but to do it, you can either buy switches individually or in this assembly. It's all plug and play nowadays. So. Like, all of this stuff is ready just to plug up and rock and roll. Um, the only thing I had to do was put two of these spade terminals on the end of my wires that hooked to my battery. I ordered more stuff than I needed, but it's okay, because I'm going to be doing some wiring on the Samurai and stuff. Well, that's all right. Uh, tools you're going to need. I used an inch and an eighth hole saw to drill these three holes and I just took the plugs and the switches out and just had the plastic piece there and put it where I wanted and took a Sharpie and traced my three circles and then took the hole saw and just zipped it out and cleaned it up a little bit with a razor knife. And you'll need some wire cutters and strippers and some sort of um, crimper. I'm going to go back and solder all of these um, connections in this guy. But... Like I said, it was all plug and play. So, like all of this stuff come already plugged. So all I had to do was take this guy and this guy, or this wire and this wire. It was already attached and put a terminal on each end of that. So it hooked up. And I used a 12 volt waterproof, um, it's only seven amp hours. 
but he said it had like uh, several thousand, I can't remember now, it's like 10,000 cycles in it. So I went with that, and this ammo box is like the perfect size. The white that you see around it was the protective foam that was around the battery when it come in the box. It fit down in there perfectly. I couldn't go through the top because of the length of the plugs. So I just went in through the top. It's not a big deal. Um, it was pretty easy. I just drilled my holes and these things just screw on and it pinches in there. And then, like I said, everything's plugged up. Once you install these three, you have to unplug these to plug this one up. And then just plug them back up. You don't have to plug them, you know, you don't have to put them all on there, but you have to, they'll be unplugged when you use this screw to tighten them up. Because you have to take this off to stick them through and then put this back on to tighten it up. A pinch in there and you just hook your connections back up. That's it, dudes. Look, it's really that easy. I spent a lot more money than I should have, but I still spent under a hundred bucks. Uh, my battery was. $30, I think. This guy was $10. Um, I think this thing was $15. And um, I think that's all I bought. I had to spay terminals. So that was it. So you figure about $60 bucks is what I got in this thing. I, I Like I said, I had bought more because I bought a bunch of extra pieces. And I'm notorious for getting extra stuff just because I like to do things like... I went to Napa today to get a bunch of stuff just in case. I did get some some uh, heat shrink. I did get some heat shrink. I forgot. And I used the heat shrink where I put the new terminals on the two wires that attach to the battery. I used some heat, some heat shrink tubing on both of those right there. But about, about $65 maybe is what you'd have in this thing. Probably build them for cheaper than that if you looked around. I didn't really, I wasn't trying to pinch pennies. I may try pinching pennies on this next one. I want to build another one. Uh, a buddy of mine had a good idea. I think I'm going to use this guy and set it up the same way I have this one, but petition it off and then put um, like a, my ham radio stuff. I just have handheld ham radios, so I think I'll petition it off. And I'll have all of this stuff set up, and I'll have my um, ham radio chargers and stuff inside here. And I may try to make it so one of my chargers is wired up, maybe just wired hard into the system. So if I maybe maybe if I turn it on, if I hit the power button, it'll charge up my charger, put power to my charger that'll be inside this guy. So when I open it up, I have. All of my battery and stuff on this side and my usb stuff or my ham radio stuff on this side maybe i don't know so i got enough to make another one i just need to get another battery but yeah guys super easy um i had field tested it of course i've already got charged it, this cell phone that i'm using right now it charged it up super quick um figure i'm going to charge a cell phone tonight what's it at 13.3. So it was at 13.4 when I pulled it out of the box. I've charged this cell phone. It dropped down to 13.1. Now I've turned it back off or unplugged it and it's back up to 13.3. So I'll charge a tablet with it tonight and uh, just leave it on all night with it plugged up and see what it looks like in the morning just to kind of test it out. But easy project. Check it out.